All right. Hello, Kristen Schultz here again, this time um, with my video journal response on the learning visual facilitation and the visual thinking strategies. Um, and I thought both of these were also super interesting. Um, first, starting with the learner, learning visual facilitation. Um, three things discovered. First thing, um, the seven elements, because we are all visual thinkers, according to the video, and I really think that's true. Um, how it talks about a lot of things, visual stuff, just you get it quicker and it sticks more in your brain. Um, but the three, seven elements, um, people, place, process, speech, text, color, and effects are all important in that process. Um, number two for the three things discovered was how it can't be just any star, but how they said a specific star you can use to draw um, people in different ways in your presentation. So I thought that was a great discovery um, because it totally made sense. And number three, how we like to orient ourselves in time and place, kind of know where we're at, at you know, and what, what is happening. Um, I think that's very, very true in the visual sense. Uh, number two, or two things found interesting. Number one, um, how effects can really draw us to a certain um, point of the conversation with how it's shadowed or the um, emotions drawn on the different people in the presentation, things like that, really draws us into certain aspects of what is being discussed. So I found that very interesting. And then number two, um, how the different arrows convey different meanings. You know, which way is the arrow going? Um, is it big or is it little? Is it curved? Are there a few of them pointing to different things? Um, all of that, they all have different meanings. So that was also very interesting to me. And then um, one question that I still have, is how effective, I guess, is it, um, or is there a different way to make it effective in, say, a young kindergarten classroom where they might not be able to read quite yet, like what's on the bubbles or, you know, the bullet points that you have written out, things like that, um, or is it just enough for me to say it as I point to each thing, um, in the kindergarten classroom. So that's my question on that. And then the visual thinking um, strategies was very interesting to me. Um, so three things discovered was how they put together um, this format of people coming in and showing the teachers how to do the visual thinking strategies in their own classroom and then having them do it nine times throughout the school year and then the 10th lesson at an actual gallery where they see an actual work of art and there's three questions that they go over when they're doing this in class as part of the thinking strategy is what's going on in the picture what do you see that makes you see that and what else can we find in this picture so that was a great discovery, which brings it into the next point I discovered is how it can really help center and get the students involved in their own learning and learn about others' points of view because they're gonna be engaged in these conversations where someone might say something like, oh, I see where you're coming from, but I disagree because this is what I see. Or, oh my gosh, I totally agree with you on that. I hadn't thought about it that way before, but you bring up a great point. So seeing that everybody is different in their points of view, but we can still have great conversations and learn from each other. And number three is that you don't need prior art knowledge. I would not have that great. I mean, I have, you know, some, but there's just so much knowledge about everything that 
you can't really have it all at any point for any content area. So that was a great discovery for me on that point, because I think it's got great strategies that you can use um, in different content areas. Two things interesting. Um, one, how the general public, when they would pass by in the museum and see these groups in engaged in these conversations, so engaged in you know, respecting each other's opinions and actually talking and really into the work of art that they're focusing on, um, they're just mesmerized. So that was really interesting to, to hear about. And then secondly, how um, every single class, you might teach the same work of art to three classes in a row and have kind of the same, you know, you, you have the same format of discussions, but each class is gonna see something different. So that was very interesting because it makes it not just engaging for the students, but for you as a teacher as well. And you just, you just learn so much from each other in that sense. So I found that very interesting. And lastly, the question that I have from this portion is how best to do this in, again, a kindergarten classroom when uh, they're just beginning to start learning about those critical thinking skills and start developing those, what is the best way to um, you know, start facilitating that um, because it's not there yet? So that's my question on that. And I just think that um, the visual thinking strategies and the learning, the learning visual facilitation are great ways to, I mean, use at any point from kindergarten all the way through um, their senior year through college, you're gonna give them fantastic skills from the beginning that they're gonna use their entire life. So I don't think there's any point that they can't be used because it just, it makes them learning that much deeper and just, fantastic all around so I think it can be used um, throughout someone's whole learning career and life so um, just great information so thanks so much